I'm alive. Right fucking now. And for the rest of my fucking life. Bottom line is this, a lot of you joke ass motherfuckers think you know how to horse blog and you simply don't. You don't know the first thing about horse content, you don't know the last thing. It's just wild to me that something this next level happens on like most days and uh, most people don't really talk about it. There's a plant growing out of the drain. It doesn't really matter what other people's success looks like, that's for them. The only thing that I can do is be me. And that's what I was thinking the other day when I tweeted, the only thing that I can do better than anybody else is to be Steve Rogenbuck. Like, we each have things we're good at doing in our way, and it seems more useful to focus on that rather than, oh, I'm not contributing what this other person has contributed. One of the greatest life hacks ever is to practice guessing when the sunsets are gonna be really good based on what the clouds look like beforehand. It's actually usually pretty easy, but sometimes it surprises you. Seriously, what the hell is God up to down here, you guys? So this is pretty basic, but the pink and purple that start at the back of the sky during sunset move over toward where the sun went because now we are at the back of somebody else's sunset. Are there things in your life that you are forgetting to appreciate? One of the things that struck me earlier tonight is that, oh, I live in a place where it's warm all year round. I wanted that for so long, now I have it. But I rarely appreciate that about my living situation. I wanna share this cool exercise. So what you do is you just sit there and you let your mind wander to whatever thoughts and memories that it naturally wanders to. But at the same time, you're noticing what those thoughts are and you're tracking whether they are about the past, present, or future. You just slide your hand to whichever one you're currently on. Sometimes it'll be a little complicated because something will be kind of about the past and the future. But, you know, usually you can sort of tie it to one of them. And so this is just a really interesting mindfulness exercise to observe how your brain works and how it just wanders from one thought to another. Just met up with my friend Paul and did some small collaborative poems I'm gonna show you what we did I think it's a game some surrealist poets invented you get little pieces of paper like this one you write questions on one side then you flip them over give it to the other person who writes answers on the other who is responsible for the dat boy meme it's not up to you how many times a day I ride my bike how come it's hard for me to get rid of my physical possessions a team of clowns who are all bad people but work together to achieve a common goal when I'm recording my videos a lot of times I feel nervous of people overhearing me or, or whatever and I sort of have to have a moment where I break through. Essentially I just have to start yelling at some point and, and let it be okay that people are going to judge me or something. So anyway I'm in this park right now so I'm <laughs> feeling pretty stressed out but I'm going to just start recording me yelling. I've got some lines in mind. It's for a sort of a pump up. I've got a trance song picked out for what's going to be playing in the background so you could imagine this with the trance song playing. Let's go, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. Today is the fucking day. Today is the fucking day. Ah! Now I don't feel nearly as scared to yell and let strangers hear me. Okay, so I was recording really hard and uh, some people called the police apparently. So a police officer came and told me to quiet down. It's happened a couple other times that like a security person or a next door neighbor has like come to check on whether I'm okay. So yeah, these are clips from when I got 911 called on me in the park. Worms, 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 alpaca, llamas, fucking llamas, llamas. It's a day again. It has once again become daylight and the sun, I believe the sun. Today I am drinking my one gallon of applesauce. I just recorded a little video where I transferred it all from these individuals. This is the only thing I'm considering from the clothes swap. What do you think? Actually this outfit, also. 
always, always wear a helmet, whether you're biking or not. Y'all are a bunch of babies, and I'm about to spoon feed your ass with bucket loads of horse content. I just spoke to God, and God said the following message to me. Go fucking hard until you're fucking dead. My favorite Wiz Khalifa quote of all time is, I came to spend it all, don't care what I'm paying for. Another good Wiz Khalifa quote is that at the beginning of a song he says, I said let's go, not let's wait. This is Tom's first time being with a dog this much. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna eat 10 mangoes in one meal. We're eating the mangoes. Ooh, ten of them. Y'all know what it's like to have a space heater on next to you and you put your face up next to it and it's blowing hot air onto your face. That's what it feels like to be biking in the Arizona summer. It's really hot out and that's really cool, man. Woohoo! We're party we, we, we know how to party, right? I love party rocking, hard as hell rocking. I just flip a bird to the man, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! <laughs> Smoking pot weed with my dog. We're gonna hit up a bong later if you guys wanna spliff out and fucking J it up, cause man, we smoke pot and weed too, man. International stamps came with a free moon sticker. So now I've got one on my helmet along with the horse. <laughs> This is E's new hat, and uh, they're getting their hair pulled through it. This might fuck some of you up, but uh, popcorn is a whole grain. Tom and I have decided that later this week we are doing a, a satanic all corn cleanse. We're gonna restrict our diet to only corn on the cob for 66 hours and 6 minutes. We've got 40 cobs to start. A new rule we decided for the all corn cleanse is that we have to listen to the band corn during every single meal. I gotta get up really early tomorrow. Oh, why? You, you, you have work or something? No, I have to start a satanic all corn cleanse. I bit into this to celebrate the beginning. You want ceremonial cob? Oh, it's really good. <laughs> I never had it raw. Yeah, it's actually quite good. It's fucking delicious. Yeah. Three days of corn. I'm part excited. Part of me is also dreading this. I think the music will become more and more ubiquitous as it goes on. Like, oh, they're listening to corn again while they're eating corn. <laughs> The music makes it like <laughs> more aggressive. <laughs> We're a little over 13 hours in to the fucking truly <laughs> satanic all corn cleanse. Every time I start getting out a cob of corn to eat it, I laugh because I know that I have to start listening to corn. 30 more cobs! There is corn splatters on my computer from where yeah, I've eaten I actually yet. had that as well. 68 corn cobs here, emptied off into two humans. Do you feel anything satanic <laughs> what if a future me came back to me at the night before i was starting the cleanse and was like do not do the all corn cleanse i beg you tom do you think that the happiness that we're feeling now about being able to eat things other than corn was worth the misery of only eating corn one of the most important things you could know about a 
place you're considering living is how many bird sounds are there in the morning. Unfortunately, this information is usually not made clear by the real estate people. We call them little, little puffers. Little shit babies, we call these ones. That's a shit baby cloud right there. Oh, wow! You guys, the color is setting in of sunset on these. Big Papa, this one I call Big Papa. The end is near. The end of the sunset, I mean. Whenever I'm in a big store like this, I can't help but think it's like both amazing and terrifying what human beings have done on Earth. We were just basically like monkeys, living outside, drinking out of the stream, like all the other animals. And now, all this. This is human life, 2016. Folks, this is very rare. I am gonna drive a car. Woohoo! Yeah, okay. <laughs> On the Boost House mailbox, it has a bunch of the residents' last names, but it also has Scare Man, which is the nickname that my roommate uses. The sun just set over here. On the other side of the sky, we've got this blue layer creeping up. My astronomer neighbor says that this is called the shadow of the Earth. This is some art in the neighborhood that I live in, and I kind of appreciate it because I really like art that makes people laugh. A lot of people don't seem to recognize humor as one of the more valuable valuable things that art can do, but I think it's really valuable. I was in an MFA graduate program for poetry and the humor was not respected. I'd hand in a funny poem and the teacher would be like, you're just joking around. One of the teachers especially was like, you have to write from your pain and you have to be the most honest about your pain. And I'm just like, I just want to make people laugh. Now, of course, I do like to communicate about some more real things in some of my work, but you guys, I think the humor is underrated. It can really change your day to laugh. If you're eating a wrap at night, you can call it a night wrap. That's a life hack. Okay, so I'm about to watch this video called Scientific Proof Satanic Illuminati Music Literally Hurts You. This inflated thing says iPad repair on it. <laughs> Look at these little scraps of cloud. What's going on up there? Look at this fricked up branch on this tree just just chilling out there i'm nude right now and uh i'm on a naked bike ride come with me the sky just lets all this shit float through it and shine through it the sky doesn't really care what is happening in it I think when you meditate you become more like the sky more able to just let the clouds float through. Grocery stores are a very emotional place to me. I feel like every place that I live, I just come to associate the grocery store in that area t to so much of the rest of that time. Tom is undertaking a challenge where he's gonna eat a whole loaf of whole wheat bread in one sitting. Tom's eating nine slices now. Seven to go, but are you gonna make it? I feel very sleepy. Five more slices. Five more slices. Oh, I lost momentum. You've got a little less than four slices to go. Every mouthful now feels like what the, the whole slice did at the start. We've moved outside to be under the so-called strawberry moon, and uh, Tom is struggling to finish. Tom has progressed to being shirtless and, uh, and doesn't think he'll be able to finish it, actually. <laughs> It's over. It's not over. Right. Sorry, bread's got the better of me. No, it hasn't. Tom, <laughs> get back here. I can't do it. Tom, you I'm in so... pain here. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't normally exist like this. <laughs> what is that? What is that? This is the absolute last try. One slice short of eating the whole loaf.
The sky does so many different things, and on a day like this, it even is doing a bunch of them at once. I like thinking of different parts of the natural world kind of as people carrying out their work, and the sky is really putting in a lot of work, and I feel I can really learn from the sky, you know I mean? This is a very productive day for the sky, but uh, it reminds me also, there's so many days when I come out here around sunset and it's just empty sky, maybe one cloud or no clouds, and the sky's just kind of chilling on those days. I'm considering learning how to talk like an auctioneer. Two and a half, five, seven, half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, seven and a half, twenty, twenty-two. To learn to do a bid call like an auctioneer, the first thing they recommend doing is just practicing your counting up and down rapidly by different increments. And I have been practicing this. 30, 32 and a half, 35, 37 and a half, 40, 42 and a half, 45, 47 and a half, 50. Making a late night truly junk food snack heating up some waffles and gonna put some soy based ice cream in between foot shower one who shows feet for a living i don't want to overstate this as an absolute thing or anything but i've been trying to identify and articulate more clearly this aspect of my personality that i've been thinking about a positive way to frame it might be to say that I am unusually purpose driven, that I always feel pulled to be working on what I feel my purpose is in life. And a negative way to frame it might be that I'm a workaholic and that I have no chill. I do value quality time with the people that I'm closest to, but I think I get restless just hanging out or relaxing quicker than most people. Like I'm much more willing to watch a movie with somebody if it's a documentary that I'm going to learn something important from or if it's somehow and tied in integral to my work. I think I'm more comfortable hanging out with somebody for hours and hours if it seems like I'm getting work done. Maybe we're doing some art project together. We're making something. Like usually when I go to a party, I end up creating micro content, making a little Instagram video or taking funny pictures or tweeting things the whole time. And I guess I don't really know how to feel about this aspect of myself. Like I think it's mostly fine and, and useful, but maybe sometimes I need to tone it down a little. This is the size of my hand and this is the size of this. Hey, this is my bike from high school. It's a Flatland BMX bike. contain a significant amount of fiber. I couldn't find a bowl for the last bit of cereal, so I'm gonna eat it out of the bag. Garbanzo bean cans make a very convenient bowl. When I say six, six, y'all say six. Six, 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 six. six. All right. All right, there we go. There we go, right there. The Canadian walk sign always makes me laugh because the legs are so far spread apart, it seems very <laughs> unrealistic. Wow, garbanzo beans are the best thing that I have going for me currently. Whenever I see this type of cloud, it reminds me of the Trifid Nebula. If you've never seen it, look it up. Trifid Nebula is very beautiful, but our sky has its own nebula. Is that what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Custom Steven Rogenbuck merch for this show. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. There's the people outside. I'm staying on the one floor of this building. My body feels really bad. Feels like uh, definitely sick, I think. <laughs> This is probably the fanciest venue that I have ever performed at. Also, Maryland has the best flag. Okay, Maryland has the best state flag. This cat's fucking satanic as fuck. This month I have not felt as much momentum toward making videos and putting them on the internet because I haven't really done that much. And I feel like when I stop making videos and putting them on the internet, then it feels like, oh, that's scary to do. That's a lot of work to do. I don't feel like doing it now. So you can like lose your momentum and then it's like harder to do it than it was when you were in a rhythm of doing it. Holy crap, I, these ducks are really rocking and I love these ducks a lot. I mean the carrot too. I'm a badass piece of shit. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even care. Scrub a dub dub, fool. Clean up, clean up your act or else you're gonna die. <laughs> Okay. This is really cool, man. Being alive is sweet. Come on, everybody. We can do it together. It's so beautiful to be here with mountain and plain white rice and to be alive. Welcome to my Tucson. This is where I live. We have been gifted a beautiful art piece by our friend Paul depicting many beautiful aliens. Ten ignorantly heavy breakdowns. I love my breakdowns. Ignorant as fuck. Seems that this uh, microwave oven is in use right now. Uh, this next poem is called Literally, what is the point of living past 24? This next one is called, My doctor asked if I ever have thoughts of hurting myself or others, and I just started laughing. This one weird trick ends your life immediately. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. So the Boost House Facebook account is being threatened of being taken down because it's not using a real name, it's using the name Boost House. And so Facebook makes you send government ID or other forms of ID, and what I uploaded to them was this image. Oh, bird brain is a compliment. I, a bird brain I think is a compliment, and same with uh, pea brain. I think that's something that we all need to consider. I found a dead orangutan in the club, and I was like, did I leave that there? <laughs> or is this somebody else's? I ended up taking it home, but it turns out mine was already home. <laughs> so this is somebody else's. <laughs> So something very amazing has happened and that is that tonight I am literally going to go to a Slipknot concert for free. Oh, holy shit. Oh, this is fucked up. I love how living in Arizona positions me in such a way that I can mock other people who think it's hot where they are. I'm getting this. Dr. Bronner's almond. It's the best. Look at that. Look at the like stripes or something.
So this cat is a stray cat in the in the neighborhood, and uh, Joseph has named this cat uh, Stacy's mom, or just mom for short. And uh, obviously, it's a reference to the Fountains of Wayne song. And uh, Joseph was singing a version of the song adapted to be about this cat. And the lyrics that Joseph sang was, I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with a fucking cat. The thing about Scandinavian countries is that the bathroom stalls are like individual rooms. You see what I mean about the bathroom stalls? It's a whole... It's a whole room. Break free from the shackles of gluten. This is the Danish grocery store with lots of Danish flags hanging. I know what country I am in. Again, the use of the word toilets in Europe just catches me a little bit off guard. They refer to the whole room as the toilet, so right now I am standing in the toilet, but we would not say that in the US. In the US, only this is the toilet, so Smoking in the toilet Seems like something you wouldn't do really just gonna go hop in the toilet real quick and smoke a cigarette So I have learned that in England they do not call it doing the dishes they call it doing the washing up and even here is proof washing up liquid I made a comparison between high-level clouds and nebulae once before on here, but don't you think this bunch of cirrus here would look just like a nebula if the colors... Pretty cute mug, but uh, this one looks just a little evil. This is Andy Holden's studio, and we are doing a show together, like an art show. And my videos are going to be in it, and... Andy took lines of mine and painted them onto already existing paintings for this show. Apparently in England they refer to pulp as juicy bits. I have two cartons to prove it. It's true! Well, it's pretty much all set up now. We ended up hanging two paintings in the toilet actually. One for if you're standing and then if you're sitting you get that. People at this opening. It seems like it got quiet in here. Whoa. So high. So high. Oh. Whoa. When I get home from a long tour, it reminds me of in the movie Click, when he like wakes up and it's like five years later. Because it's like I come back to this space and it's like, oh, stuff has been happening here while I've been off somewhere else. We have this whiteboard that is like pretty dirty all over, I guess, but this is shocking to me. Have you ever seen the light of God shining down on my family and friend group? What? Chewable oranges? Come on! Normal oranges are already chewable! <laughs> Come on! 
The most obvious place people look during a sunset is directly over where the sun went down, but always remember to check the back of the sky. You never know what's going to be lurking back there. Shadow of the earth is rising up, creating the most beautiful gradient that mine eyes have ever seen. Okay, I love this purple so much. <laughs> you see what I'm eating here? It's called a sugar snap pea. <laughs> Have fun tonight, you guys. In the morning, I'm leaving to go on tour to Ohio. Ohio! Cleveland rocks, Cleveland rocks. Oh, come on. So today I was given ceramic juggalos uh, as gifts. Quite well-dressed ceramic juggalos. I'm alive! Right fucking now! And for the rest of my fucking life! We got absolutely nothing, Bob. We got absolutely nothing. No conferences and no jobs, Bob. We got absolutely fucking nothing. When I say six, six, y'all say six. Six, six, six. Six, six, six. When I say six, six, y'all say six. I identify as a plum eating piece of shit. This is just an apple inside of a bag. I don't know whose idea this was, but there's no there's no button or anything. You put your hand under it. If you stand here, you'll see a lot of people getting confused by it. They're like, wait, where? Where? Come on, kids, let's go to the bar. You heard me. We're going out tonight. I got a bar back and you guys are coming with. So I've been watching some Jaden Smith content today and Will Smith content as well. And uh, I just got one thing to point out here. I have found multiple cases now where Jaden Smith refers to his dad, Will Smith, in a song proudly and it's a pun also. Of course, in the Justin Bieber song, Never Say Never, Jaden Smith says, No pun intended, I was raised by the power of will. And then in the Jaden Smith song called Let It Breathe, Jaden Smith says this, he says, I don't want to call my father, but swear that I will. This is just extremely good that this has happened. We're seeing Jaden Smith proudly punning Will Smith's name multiple times in songs. All right, I just wrote notes in all these books. I'm shipping out these chat books, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite notes I wrote in them. I wrote different notes in all of them, and some were better than others. What if there are aliens who identify as rock and roll aliens? Watch out, the guy from Owl City is still alive. Lawnmowers present no threat to me at all. Clowns using tongs to eat foods that do not require tongs to eat. Think about it. I'm eating bananas now, and uh, I'm in a kind of a good mood, but not like a wildly good mood, but just like, wow, it's kind of it's kind of fun to be alive a little bit. Like I can, you know, choose what to do with my hand or uh, with my uh, words coming out of my mouth. It's just kind of fun to have autonomy. You know what I mean? <laughs> no bananas. Cirrocumulus. Cirrocumulus. I'm performing here tonight, but not in this building. It's over in a different building. Before I introduce Steve with a proper bio, I want to thank the graphic design program here at Tuesday fucking morning!
today I'm leaving to Australia. <laughs> Australian language update, they do say chucks to mean chickens. Chucks is chickens. This is the first venue I'm performing at in Australia. Crikey! Crikey. Garbanzo beans are heaps good, mate! First thing is, I love how generic this slogan is. Get pumped for action. Second, I love that it's just water. Getting pictures of me uh, slamming the bonzos right now. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Look at this. This is funny because it's a big red plastic thing and it almost looks like it says solo on it, like a solo cup. I'm doing a radio interview today. Power this? Oh, this is on full power already. Okay, so I'm off now to get a bra for my four-year-old daughter. Animals are not permitted inside the airport terminal. I'm gonna break the rule. I'm gonna go inside. I'm going in. I'm breaking the rule. So essentially this is saying don't drink the toilet water. I'm out recording for a new video, hopefully. <laughs> you thought that you could bring a marijuana cigarette. Rarest Steve Rogan Buck merch to ever be created. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What is this? This is this a poster? Yeah. Very rare. I was running to catch my mega bus and uh, fell down in the mud. Yeah, I made the bus, but I'm all dirty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we can start calling it Copenhagen. Today is the day. Copenhagen. Danish National Book Fair that I'm reading at today. Wow. The stage I'm performing on is right here. We've already said fuck the bourgeoisie enough times tonight, haven't we? Yeah. But let's just say it one more time. One, two, three. Oh God, it's cold out here. Just kidding. I was just thinking about this thing that happened to me back in like 2011 when I first started making videos and I made some videos in the spring, I made some in the summer and then I made this video at the end of the summer in 2011 that didn't really get much response, it seemed like people didn't really care about it, I guess it wasn't that good of a video and I remember thinking after that like maybe I'm done making videos, maybe it's like I did what I needed to do and now it's 
done, you know? But like, that was before I made like any of the videos that people care about. That was before I made any good videos, really. I had only made like 10 videos. I was just getting started, but I think it's very dangerous to interpret failure that way. You might be failing now, but you don't know what comes next. If you zoom out, you might get it soon. So today is a very rare and exciting day. I have a green screen that I am hanging up in my room so that I can record videos with a green screen. Actually, I do not even have a hammer to nail in the nails that I'm putting it up with, so I'm using a pot to bang the nails into the wall. This is very rare. Actually, this is looking not bad. I'm about to record some video in front of the green screen, and I don't have a tripod, so I've set my camera up on the lamp. I have an idea for a very poignant performance art piece where you just walk around staring at your phone and doing this while it's off. So this cat's name is OK Google, <laughs> which is supposedly what you have to say to your phone if you have an Android. It's like Siri for Android. OK Google. A lot of times Joseph and I talk in a voice like this. What? Ain't that right? Oh my god. Alright, who thinks I should go on a tour, but instead of performing poetry, I just go to Planet Fitness with people. And we just all go to Planet Fitness. Hey y'all, it's pretty late and I am up video editing and I just want to say this is actually what I live for. I live for this feeling of being excited about making something and sort of pushing everything else to the side. Like, you know those days when you come up with a really good idea or something and then you just forget about everything else you had planned for the day and then you just like work on that idea in pursuit of it. And like what I'm doing today is not even a, a new idea or anything, but I just am enjoying the work and I'm like, oh, I gotta keep going. Oh, you like it? Oh, you think it's really cool and looks nice? Oh. That color of the sky is really kind of cool, guys. No kidding. We didn't already know that. Well, I guess I'm getting turned pink along with the sky because all that light comes right in my window and then next thing you know, I'm pink from it. Well, it could be worse, I guess. We're looking at, you know, it's pretty good colors, you know. If you're going to have to be turned some color, you might as well be turned about that color, I guess. You come to my house around this time, you ain't gonna see me outside, that's for sure. No way, Jose, I'm not going out in that mess. Oh, pardon me, I don't even mind hardly. If Sky wants to turn pink, go ahead, but, you know, guys like me, we don't, we just wanna make, be honest, we don't really like it. I just don't know why it's gotta do that, cause it's every goddamn night it's doing this out here, and, you know, guys like me, we get kinda fed up. Bell peppers look like plastic toy food, not real food. Look at this little dork up here. Wow, what a loser tree, wow. Vin Diesel. Sunsets are very precious because you might see it out the window and say, oh wow, that looks good, and then you go outside like 10 minutes later and maybe it's all gone by then. When I die, y'all need to make sure that my funeral is held on a Friday or Saturday and that the appropriate Rebecca Black song is played. Well, for dinner I'm having tofu. The stray cat named OK Google is in our home currently. Very exciting development. So we've officially named the other stray black cat, How I Met Your Mother. I've been laughing about that cat name quite a lot today. How I Met Your Mother is the funniest cat name to me. I actually have a banana life hack here. A really great way to eat bananas is to take a bite of it and then take a bite of some nuts. I'm doing this with almonds right now. I've done this with peanuts too, and it was maybe even better than this, so. My new idea is to go to a car dealership and then dispute with the car salesman about the number of horsepower in the car and tell the car salesman that they are underestimating horses and horses are definitely more powerful than this car. And 
All right, we got Christmas wrap here from Crew X. You want a ball on the back? A dollar a hat? No, the sand is sack. It's a sand wrap. With his reindeer wrap. Clippity clap, tippity tap. Sand wrap. This is a uh, Crocs brand lighter. Got uh, two backup barbecue sauces <laughs> on the table here. Baby mama drama screaming on and too much for me to want to stay in one spot. Another day in monotony has got me to the point I'm like a snail. I've got to formulate a plot or end up in jail. A shot success is my only motherfucking option. Failure's not. Mama love you, but this trail has got to go. I cannot grow old in Salem's life, so here I go. It's my shot. Fee fail me not. This may be the only...